Good afternoon, everybody. This is J-Pad, the juggernaut, custombeatking.com, and I'm introducing to you my new VST instrument, the Soundbox. Now, what is the Soundbox? The Soundbox is a virtual instrument that you can install on your computer, and then you can search your plugins in your favorite DAW and find this instrument, and you'll be able to utilize it to have some fun and make some beats. Now, do I say it's the top of the line DAW software uh, plugin? No, it's not one of the top of the line plugins that you can use in your DAW, but I do uh, think that it has a, a, a value. And the reason why I say that is because the sounds that I put in there, they, are, uh, they were designed by me. I was uh, taking my time out and I was doing some interesting layering of sounds. And I said, hey, you know what? This would be cool if it was in an instrument form. Well, now it is. It's in an instrument form and you're able to go ahead and use it in your software that you like to use. Uh, like I said, it doesn't work in every software, but the majority of the DAWs out there, it does work in. Now, just to give you a brief overview of the sound box itself, um, let me show you here. Uh, we're gonna call it up here. This is the sound box here. And when you first open it up, if you're a Windows user, it's gonna open up to the preset bold horns. If you're on a Mac, it's going to start at the very top of the list here at the 808. Now, once you select a sound, you can use your arrow buttons on the keypad to navigate through and preview all of the different sounds. And you can play them with your controller, you know, if, or if you're typing keyboard, or if you're a note person where you draw in the notes, you could do that as well. But this is an idea of what the 808 sounds like. Got a nice little, got a nice little, nice little strong sound to it. And if you notice on the interface as well, there are different sections here. Now in the middle here, you got your VU meter. On the left, you got your effects, which are all the banks like your reverb, your chorus, your mix of the delay and the timing of the delay. And you can mess around with these parameters real time and you can see exactly what they do to a sound. On the other side, you have some dynamics with your compression and your threshold. So, you know, your mix and your threshold for the compressor. So you can add a little bit of compression to these sounds. Uh, tried to make it uh, practical and useful so you wouldn't have to use as much CPU on your device. And you can actually apply some effects right on the sound box. Now, as far as the sounds themselves, like I said, I, I designed the sounds myself. Uh, some are meant to have a vintage feel to them. Some of them are meant to have, you know, a current feel or, you know, a cutting edge feel. So if we uh, arrow through our, our presets here. Okay, that's that's another bass and you could just keep on, you know, previewing sub bass. There are 25 sounds in here. We'll just go through them real quick. House bass. Oh. And another side note, some of these are not in native C key. Uh, you will have to just kind of like play around. And I thought that would be a fun thing to do. Play around on your keys and see if you can find where the root note is for some of these sounds. Uh, that would be, uh, to me, a lot of fun. It, it makes it different. It gives you another challenge. So that's what the sound box is going to do. And uh, so we'll keep going and listening to the sounds. Yeah, I like that sound. That sounds pretty cool. Nice, nice. And as you can see, like I said, once again, some of these are in a different note scale. So you just adjust with the keys as you go along. Use your ears and, uh, uh, and, and, and match up. Okay. So we're going to go down to the horns. Oh yeah, that bull horn is pretty something, something. I, I like that, and I also like the fact that when you're when you play a sound, you can actually see, you know, the wavelength kicking in at the top there. That's a pretty cool feature, you know. what I'm saying gives it a nice little visual and keeps your creativity at its uh, peak. So let's keep going. Yeah, and and, and all the names I named myself is an acoustic steel. You know. Now, when you add an effect to something like that, it definitely gives it more of a professional feel. Let's add some chorus. Let's 
Let's add some uh, delay. We'll bring in the mix. So that's pretty cool, and I can adjust the timing of that as well. Pretty cool. So as we, you know, decrease, obviously, it'll repeat faster. Uh, the longer you stretch the milliseconds out, it'll go slower. All right, we'll turn that down. And then, of course, you're compressing. You can br bring the mix up on the compressor. It's subtle, but let's add some threshold. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, I'm just going to adjust my latency here a little bit so we don't get too many pops and clicks. There we go. Okay, we're going to keep going. Let's add some reverb there. And I should note one other thing, too. So I added some effects to that last preset. If I go back to the last preset, the, the effects where I set them at will still be there. And I go to the next one. And I can go down the list and I can preset these and set these up when I'm in the, in the software. Uh, another good thing is you can open it up multiple times. So you can create one sound, lay down a pattern, then you can go to another sound, and the sound box will be able to be used multiple times. So that's another good thing about it. Let's just check out some of these other uh, sounds. So we have some brass, we have some bass, we have some guitars. Uh, we have some other things in here as well that are just a little different. Some synth sounds, you know, some stab, a stab sound. Uh, in total, there are 25 sounds. So it's going to be adding some flexibility. Let's see what it sounds like with some reverb there. Some chorus. How about some delay? Okay, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I'm just going to pod these back down here. Let's go to the next uh, one. Let's go to some this one. Nice, 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 nice. It's got a nice little rock type vibe to it. If you want to do some rock. Got some blues sounding stuff. So that, that it's got a nice little variety of sounds. We're just going to keep on going here. Some synths. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. And like I said, try to play around with the effects. See if you uh, like what you hear on it. And now every effect is for every sound. You know, just know that not every effect is for every sound. You just utilize what sounds best and it'll save your computer some CPU in the early going. But you can also always use effects of your choice in your setup and your personal, you know, workflow that you can apply to these sounds. Give them some more flavor, you know, if you will. You know, like I said, the sound box wasn't meant to be like the top of the line, you know, Bentley of, of VST instruments. It's just meant to be a nice little tool that you can add to your DAW and have some fun with it. And um, yeah, let's go to another sound. Let's let's check out all the sounds if we can. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that sound right there. That's, that's one of my favorites in the DAW so far. Nice, let's keep going. And some of these have some really cool processing on them. I, I, I made sure that they had it on there. Just give it that flavor. Now that's pretty cool. I just held that one down and it and it kind of like played out on its own like that. You can see that in like a horror flick thing or something. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nice synth thunder. Pretty cool sound, pretty cool sound. And every sound in here may not be for you, but the ones that are, you know, utilize them. Try to make something fresh and new with your creations. Nice. And these are all synths, synth sounds. Pretty cool. It's 
pretty nice because all you gotta do is just tap that one and you got a nice little drag. Pretty cool. I'm not even holding the key on that one. That was pretty cool. Let me see. We got another one here. Oh, yes. Yeah, and you never know what you're going to get. Like, you know, some of these sounds, you know, you can hold the key and it'll drag out like that. And then sometimes you can just tap it once. So a few of the, uh, one, at least one of the sounds does that. So, you know, let's go to, to oh, yeah, pretty cool. Got a little after effect to it. And that's all the sounds there in the sound box. This will be available uh, Black Friday week. Um, you guys can go to my website, custombeatking.com, and you can, uh, you know, pick it up for a real cheap price. You know, I, I, I'm not going to kill nobody's pockets. Uh, it's going to be, ha it's going to have a Black Friday uh, sale, and you'll be able to go pick it up on the website uh, this week, uh, coming up on, I want to say, uh, we're going to do Monday the 25th. From Monday the 25th all the way to November 2nd, from Monday the 25th all the way to November 2nd, we're going to put the sound box on sale for you to buy for $1.99. That's all I'm going to charge you guys, $1.99 to try this thing out, have some fun with it. No pressure, you know what I'm saying? I know some people will like it, some people won't. But in the very least, I think that we have achieved something that can help people you know, get some creative juices going. And like I said, if you get some value out of it, leave some, leave some feedback in the comments uh, of the videos. Uh, post a video of yourself using it. Share it. Tag us in it. Tag me in it. And say, hey, you know, I like the sound box or it's the reason why I don't like it. All feedback is appreciated. Uh, I thank you guys once again for tapping in with me. Make sure you go to custombeatking.com this coming Monday the 25th. And you'll be able to pick up the Soundbox VST instrument for yourself. There is a version for Mac. There is a version for Windows. So make sure that you guys stay locked in on the 25th of November. You can pick up the Soundbox. And it's only $1.99 on a Black Friday special. After the special is over, it's definitely going to be still inexpensive. I'm not going to tax nobody or kill nobody for this. I just want to share something cool that I created with people in the creative community, in the production community, you know, have some fun with it. You already know what it is. It's JPad the Juggernaut, custombeatking.com. Make sure you catch me on the lovely radio show Thursday nights, uh, 7 p.m. Western, Eastern, uh, Pacific time, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also make sure you stay tuned for the Custom Beat Show, which is always on. Uh, we're, we're, we're setting it for Monday nights. Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, y'all. Much love. This is the Soundbox VST, and I hope you guys have some fun with it. Peace out.